modern pinball has, like all other forms of entertainment, uh, has changed dramatically from 15 years ago, 10 years ago, 25 years ago. 25 years ago, 27 years ago, when we did Adam's Family, there was one programmer, there was one graphic artist, there was one artist doing the cabinet and the art for the cabinet. Uh, there was a team of production people, but by and large, those games were done by a group of six people who were dedicated for a year. Technology has now moved on. And what people expect in a modern entertainment device has moved on. The amount of people that it takes to do these games in the modern era has, has jumped dramatically. Uh, and the amount of talent it takes to do these games has jumped dramatically. Uh, one person no longer has the ability to do most of the jobs that go into one of these games. Uh, and there, I have an office here that's full of extremely talented people and they have to work together to make this all happen. The days of one person making this happen are long gone. And people need to appreciate the investment that it takes to not just, not just rough a pinball machine together, but to do all of the work that it takes to make that game come to life. We spend, we, we now have, we now have six or seven programmers who work on one game at a time in order to, to, for you to be able to enjoy what it is we're doing. We have three or four mechanical engineers that will be working on one game in order to bring it to life. We have the game designer. We have all the people in our technical electronics area that it takes to bring this to life. And that's before you even get to the people who have to buy the parts, who have to assemble the parts, who have to do all the other work that it takes to do this. This is a, it's become a monumental effort in order to do these games. Um, Joe Katz, he, you know, he's sort of taken the lead on this game. Um, we, you know, I'm still, still Ted is from, uh, from Dialed In, Ted Estes, is still, you know, the, one of the leads on the project. He's still one of the people that's, you know, uh, uh, directing the crew to do what they need to do in the software work. And there's, an, there's, a, there's a, you know, an, a, a nice hierarchy here of um, we, have, we have people who've done this for 25 years. We have people who've only been doing this for seven years. And the people who've been doing it for 25 years are now teaching the people who've only been doing it for seven why you do things why we approach things the way we do, how we make the game function so that it's reliable. All of that goes into the, you'd think that, that for it to be reliable, you'd only be worried about the mechanical engineers. That's not true. The software people are a huge part of what goes into whether these games are reliable and how long they're going to last and what they're going to do. So, the talent level that it takes to do this is now exponentially past what, what it ever was. Um, and my job as head of game design here at, at JJP is I bring my experience to bear on the big picture. When you play a pinball machine, you see the finished product, but for us, we have to go in and we have to dissect fun. We have to take it apart every day and try and figure out, 
is the person who would be playing this, will this make him laugh? Will this be fun? Is this something that we should should make hard? Is it something we should make easy? Are there things, in, how are we going to play the music with this? Is the right speech call here? Is the wrong speech call there? Is the stuff we're doing here any good at all? Is the, is the, is the you know, and, and that's before we get to fine tuning. Is the ball time right? Do, are, do we have people playing runaway games in a game where they're just playing forever? Um, and all of that, all of that is the art of pinball. And this is a craft and an art. And woe be to people who think they can just walk off the street and do this. Generally, we, we have a joke if you try and do this, you know, and you're sure you're going to do it, you know, and there's no problem with you doing it, we call those people bankrupt. Bankrupt.